Hey, what's up? This video is about the least common multiple and how to find it if you're given a pair of numbers. Um, so I'm going to uh, throw out three examples here, three pairs of numbers, and um, the reason I'm going to do that is because each one of them illustrates sort of a, uh, a, a slightly different case of what's um, what's going to happen. I mean, it's, th it's all the same process, but I just want you to be aware of these three things you might run into. So let's say that, um, let's say we were given um, 10 and 6. All right, 10 is our first number, 6 is our second number. Now we want to find the least common multiple. So this is our problem. Find the uh, least common multiple. So um, let's begin by thinking about what these words mean, least common multiple, within the context of math, right? So least means smallest. Common means shared and a multiple is what you get when you count by a number so for example like the multiples of six would be uh, 6 12 18 24 etc right and then the multiples of 10 would be 10 20 30 40 right so um, watch what I'm gonna do here right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin by listing the multiples of 10 so I'm just going to I'm gonna draw a line here I'm gonna draw a line here I'm gonna list the multiples of 10 so here's 10 20 30 40, 50, etc. Right? Okay. Let's list the mul let's um, list the multiples of six, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six. Okay. And I could keep going, but um, I don't I don't have to actually go any farther because I can see the answer right now. Think about what the least common multiple is. It's the smallest shared multiple. Well, here are the multiples of six. Here are the multiples of ten. What is the smallest number that both of these columns have in common? Well, in fact, the only number, well, is 30. So I'm going to draw a line. So 30 is the least common multiple of 10 and 6. And so I would just say that LCM equals 30. Okay, so that's one example. Um, so let's, let's do another one, all right? Um, oh, and by the way, notice. Um, did, you, did you notice that... Um, 10 times 6 is actually 60. It's not 30. This is, um, some people think that, you know, to find the least common multiple, you just have to multiply the numbers. Um, now, that works sometimes, but sometimes it's actually, you can get a smaller number. So I'm going to give you an example. This next example is going to illustrate a case in which you just simply multiply the numbers to get the least common multiple. So let's talk about that. So uh, here's another example. How about um, the number 7 and the number 4? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to list the multiples of 7. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, etc., 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 right? So, um, how about 4 now? Count by 4s. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, uh, 28, whoops, 32. Okay, so um, we're going to do the same thing here. Let's look for the smallest number that both of these columns of numbers have in common. Well, it'd be 28, right, wouldn't it? There you go. Now, notice something. See if I just would have gone 7 times 4, I would have gotten 28. Now, so that what this means is that if you multiply two numbers, you will always get a multiple of those two numbers, a shared multiple, a common multiple of those two numbers. But you will not always get the least common multiple. And so... Um, that's why I wanted to put these two examples out here because this example illustrates a case in which the least common multiple is not just these two numbers multiplied. And then this case down here illustrates a case in which um, the least common multiple is just these two numbers multiplied. And you really, there really is no way to know other than just checking. So um, the final example I want to show you is um, one in which uh, you have two numbers like this. You have 12 and 2. Now, let's list the multiples of this. We'll do the same thing. What are the multiples of 12? 12, 24, 36, 48, etc., etc. Okay, how about 2? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, etc., etc. Okay, um, notice something. So what's the least common multiple? Well, it'd be 12, right? Because it's the smallest number that's shared between these two columns of numbers. There you go. Now, that's interesting because now the least common multiple is one of the numbers we were given. That can happen, right? Because, so the first thing you want to check when you're finding the least common multiple of 
um, a set of numbers is that uh, you just want to see if the smaller number goes into the bigger number evenly. If it does, then the bigger number is just the least common multiple. So um, the point I want to make, though, um, ultimately, it's all the same process. Whether it's doing these numbers or these numbers or these numbers, you're doing the same thing. You're just listing the multiples of the numbers, and you're finding um, the smallest number that they share in common between these two columns. But um, these three cases illustrate sort of the three um, things that can happen. Either A, you just have to find it the old-fashioned way. B, it's the numbers multiplied. Or C, one of the numbers itself is the least common multiple. So um, that's basically it. Maybe that was an overly uh, detailed explanation, but I hope you got the idea. Uh, thanks for watching.